In this tutorial, I will show you how to paint graffiti decals or any images directly onto object surfaces in Blender. At the end of this video, you'll be able to easily put decals, graffiti, or any images onto your object of choice like walls, cars, buildings to add more realism to your own 3D renders. So now, let's now dive in. First, we're gonna create a canvas where we can paint our graffiti. Add a cube. Press 1 to go into front view. Let's move the cube here. Now, press tab to go into edit mode. Bevel the cube by pressing Ctrl B. Then shade smooth. Open the shader editor. Add a new material. Add image texture. Connect to base color. Then let's open our concrete texture. These files are all downloadable on the description. To add a bump texture, gonna add another image texture. Connect to Roughness. Open Concrete Texture. Now press this icon here to create a unique copy of this texture. Then change this to Non-Color. Color Ramp. Place it between Principled BSDF and Image Texture. Add a Bump Node. Color to Height. Then Normal to Normal. Let's reduce the strength a bit. Now that we already have the object where we can paint on, let's now add image texture here and we're gonna combine this to the cube object, click new. Then I wanna use a 4K texture, so I'm gonna click and then drag down. And this way we can change both values at the same time and I'm going to type in 4096 and hit enter. For the color, I'm gonna use black to reveal the color A or first color slot which is our concrete texture later on. Then hit OK. Next, let's add a mix color node. Place it here, then connect this empty image texture to color B slot. This will now reveal the texture on slot A, which is our concrete texture. Let's increase the strength of our HDRI. Then gonna choose the city HDRI, which is my favorite HDRI. Next, before we start to paint our image to the object, we need to UV unwrap the cube onto our image texture. To do that, go to UV editing workspace. And here you can see the UV editing on the left and the object on the right window. Now, as you can see here, the cube has already been UV unwrapped. It is important to make sure UV texture is properly unwrapped. Otherwise, the texture paint will not be accurate on the UV texture as we paint on the object. Let's disable the scene world and scene lights for us to see the scene clearer. Next, go to Texture Paint Workspace. Select City HDRI. Then go to Texture Paint Tool. Scroll down until you find Texture, click New. We don't actually have any textures there yet to paint with, so we need to go down to the Texture Properties tab. To do that, hit this icon, click Open, and navigate to whatever image you want to use as paint. Change the extension from Repeat to Clip. If there is any stretching going on in the image, simply play with these settings until you get your desired look on the image. Next. Go back to Texture Paint Tool. Change the mapping from Tile to Stencil. This creates an overlay which will serve as reference as we paint on the object. You can press Shift and right click to zoom in and out, Control and right click to rotate. Right click and drag to move it around to your desired location. Make sure your color is set to white before painting anything, since anything darker will make the decal darker. Then, position your graffiti anywhere you'd want it. Then, all you have to do is click and drag and paint in the desired area. As you can see, the paint is not that visible. It's because we painted it with only 50% strength. So let's undo that, increase the strength into 100%, then let's paint again. Alright, you can see that the paint is now clearer, and it also takes up the roughness and the bump of the concrete. Another thing you can do is press F to increase or decrease the radius of the paint brush, shift F to increase or decrease the strength of the paint. Now, in case you want to delete the paint and change into something else, simply flip the color into black by hitting the X key, position the stencil, click and drag, and paint in the desired area that you want to delete. You can also paint multiple textures on the same UV map by simply going back to texture. Hit X, then new to open another image to paint. Simply position the image stencil, 
Then click, drag and paint in the area where you want to attach the image. Lastly, don't forget to click save all images to avoid losing the data that you created. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you on the next video.